Well, we are five days away from the Kansas primary, and all week we're breaking down the issues that matter to you. And tonight, KSNT News Capitol Bureau Chief Courtney Ryan tells us how the Democratic candidates for governor plan to deal with the Supreme Court and school finance. The long-running school finance battle is once again a hot topic on the campaign trail. Our children are important to us. It's an issue state's next governor will have to address after the state Supreme Court's most recent ruling. I think that the Supreme Court decision was probably the right one in this case. In May, the high court ruled the more than $525 million phased in over the next five years was still insufficient because it didn't take into account inflation. The court gave lawmakers another year to come up with the money. We actually now have the revenues, uh, cash on hand to be able to take care of that accounting for inflation. State Senator Laura Kelly and former Ag Secretary Josh Swati both point out since the 2012 tax cuts were overturned, the state is bringing in more money, which could be used to pay for the inflation factor. I think the $525 million was a, a very good effort to get money back to K through 12. And I think that around 100 million this year and then another 100 million the next year will probably satisfy the courts. Kelly and Swati say if the state continues to bring in more money, the cycle of litigation could end. If we continue over the next years uh, to account for inflation and uh, adjust our budget accordingly, I think we can stay out of court. Former Wichita Mayor Carl Brewer offers a different perspective, saying the state needs to grow its exports and attract new businesses. And we've got to create an environment that has where we have the best education, because if we have the best education, we certainly would have a skilled workforce. Brewer also says his long-term plan includes legalizing recreational and medical marijuana with the revenue paying for schools. Because our children, we owe them the best education we can possibly give them. Coming up tonight, you'll hear from the four major Republican gubernatorial candidates on this issue. Reporting from the Capitol, I'm Courtney Ryan. And like we mentioned, we are less than a week away from the primary. Polls on Election Day are open from 7 in the morning to 7 at night. And you can count on KSNT News, news for comprehensive coverage on Election Day. We'll let you know about any problems there at the polls, and we'll give you, of course, up-to-the-minute results as they come in.